I'm about to get a new shirt. Yeah. <laughs> is this where we're going? Uh, yeah, right up here in the corner. We're about to go see this? my guy, uh, Dr. David. Well, John's, we're about to go see my guy, Dr. David, but John's about to watch out. John's about to get taken care of because uh, he has a sore back because he's been barging it for a couple of days now, now that he's been in Houston. And, uh, so, yeah, I'm about to link up with my guy. He's, uh, he's big in the industry. Let's check it out. Yeah, I got y'all. He's tired. He's soft. Yeah. He tricked me into medical care. It's smooth. <laughs> See, it's tough. Like, so that was part of the reason on why we started working out, why we started running, and that was like such a big help for us. Yeah. So, I guess that's one of the, the biggest questions I had too. Is like, when did when did you notice that the, that the industry needed you, or when did when did the industry start reaching out to you, being like, yo, like, can you, can you take care of me on this? Or... So basically, it all started. I think. Uh... It, it all started with one person. I can't remember who it was, but um, but it's just like uh, I started. You know, I like to you know talk about what do you do every day or stuff like that. And so um, I started noticing a lot of people. I'm just on my feet all day, slightly hunched over. Yes, 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 yes. That's that's <laughs> like that little slight. And so it's like doing that stuff all like for like how long like. Five, six, seven hours. The, so some of the bars you go to uh, are Washington Street. Yeah. It's just usually around that, like usually around like five to six, seven hours. Yeah. Where we started in the industry, it's like we were like, that's all you guys work. Yeah, no, right. We're, we're, we're working, especially if you want to make money. We're working yeah. between eight to maybe ten, eleven yeah. plus hours. Yeah. And so yeah, like at that at that slight yeah. hunch, it's yeah. like the worst position to be. Yeah, in. Yeah, exactly. Because you, you're days. demanding on your back quite a bit. So, so, so you're, you're like this, so you, you're asking your back, Hey, stay strong in this. Cause he's going to want to do this, but you're yeah. telling it to do this. Right. So he's going to, eventually you're going to wear it out. So that's when I come in, you're going to build pressure on like uneven pressure on your spine, your joints are going to start hurting. So, you know, that's when I, you know, I really thought about that and so I was like, oh, dude, let me start reaching out, yeah. you know, to people like you. And, and it's also. I find it for a good business perspective. You guys talk to a lot of people. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. So, yeah. We, we always talk so about building connections. So, I'm like, we built one of the best. Yeah. So it's it all something from what we wanted. Like, yeah. So you guys talk to a lot of people. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. And so it's like, man, it's like marketing right there, you know. And so, and you, can, for example, I gotten. So you know, I do car car accidents, right? Yeah. That's Man, <laughs> Where, that, who, else is, who else knows about more cars? Yeah, so, so exactly. So, so yeah. So you, you uh, it's always a good referral, and yeah. so yeah, it's, it's it's great, you know. And so I mean, I love working with you know bartenders because you know I like to have a good time too. <laughs> sure, I use I use you guys quite a bit for like business purposes too. I only go to places I like. Uh, so I so I I was like going back to the car uh, car accident business. Um, you know, I work with a lot of lawyers, so I like to, you know, take them out for drinks, yeah. you know, um, all the doctors, you know, orthopedic doctors, guys, unfortunately, you know, sometimes I can't fix everything. I have, we have to do a little more. And so orthopedic doctor, pain management doctors, you know, it's great. You know, it's, it's a good thing to break the ice, you know, yeah. and it's a, it's a good thing to have sure people like you guys. Yeah. First of all, you guys make me look good when I when I show up and hey, what's up? <laughs> what's like some common in injuries outside of just like the the leaning and lower back? Shoulder. from shoulders. Yeah. Shoulders. Uh, like you know that like when you like you pouring that rotator cuff, uh, like small rotator cuff uh, tears, you know impingements, yeah. you know shoulders for sure is a big one. Yeah, but I noticed like some people say like some people do them like this or like that's so, so bad. Like, like, yeah, so, mm -hmm. that's literally what we do all day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so bad because you're what's uh what's happening is you're closing. It's called the the there's an outlet and there's a, there's your tendon runs through it. There's a um yeah, pretty much the big one is a supraspinatus tendon in there. And so when you're closing it like that, when you're doing um I guess pronating, yeah. you know, um you're pinching it little by little. So, yeah. so, and then at one point your, your tendon is going to get, you know, inflamed. Your bicep tendon also is right there. What I tell people, you have to just, uh, maintain your rotator cuffs. You have to have strong shoulders, strong rotator cuffs in order to keep up with, with that. Okay.
yeah, because that way you've got to prevent quite a bit of uh, injuries. And everybody has a hip issue. You know? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody has because you favor one side, you know. So, I mean, I'm not going to tie it in to the industry. Yeah. But, I mean. Well, I know even like me, like, if I'm, if I'm squatting or I'm doing leg press, like, even right now, like, uh, this left leg yeah. wants to be a little bit further out than, than my, my right one. It's just more comfortable. If I, if I put them exactly the same, yeah. then it's just uncomfortable for me to squat. Mm -hmm. and so I'm always constantly doing like some sort of stretching or some sort of mobility. Yeah, no, then, yeah, no, you're doing great because I mean, in your industry, if you're not fit, I mean, it's a tough life. It's a tough life. Like, yeah. beyond, like, I know we talked about, you know, it's a little bit easier to get certain jobs if you're in shape. Unfortunately, no. it's just easier to get through your job. Through, you through yeah. yeah. Like, not being in shape is, it's a hard job. Like, yeah. on your feet, moving, all Ex this. Exactly. All that, like, God, I mean, you taking essence all baths just trying to stay alive. I mean, yeah. well, you can get you can get fifteen thousand steps in on chips. Oh, easy. You know what I mean, so just that on top of that, all the, the, the box lifting and mm -hmm. that's bartending. Now you're taking in the serving, mm -hmm. and then on a hard ground, not the right shoes, no rubber mm -hmm. pads. Yeah, it's just like it's just and you hung over all the time. Hung over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Recovery, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you started, yeah. You're starving. You're dehydrated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. What can we do to help? What can we do to help our agents, David? Don't drink. <laughs> Don't drink, but oh god. <laughs> I mean, I should do the same thing, but you know. <laughs> yeah. No, but yeah, I thought it was a uh, was dope how, how you have such a, a strong connection with the industry. Even when I uh, I saw Charles going into one of his fights, I was like, that's a good I was like, you know Charles, and you're like, yeah, I sponsor him. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's actually, a funny th story about him. Like he came up. Uh, Somebody referred, uh, he got referred to me by a close friend of mine. Uh, and she was like, hey, look, um, there's this guy. He's been hurting. You know, he's trying to get into boxing. And, you know, he told me his story. Long story short, I wanted to help him out, you know, uh, through his boxing career. And so, yeah. Yeah. And next thing you know, he's in the bar industry. <laughs> yeah. 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 When, when I got into the industry, I remember I was uh, bartending at restaurants. And I would go to Washington Street, and we'd party mm. over there. And and he was like one of the top marchers out there, working at the hot spots. And I was like, I, I gotta get behind these bars. Like, yeah. Like, like, what is it? Like, what is he doing? Like, I got, I gotta get there. I gotta get there. Yeah. And so we've had a we've had a connection since then. Like, yeah. And uh, yeah, it's dope to see him now back in the game, now undefeated, boxing. Mm hmm He was just an unreal athlete. So, oh yeah. Oh yeah. But yeah, if you're not taking care of your body, it's no. No, they, they, now you're talking about fighting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. No, I bet. How, how many? How many? Charles, you, 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 you just going all in. But you, but you, how many people do you kick out a, a, a day? Oh, you yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got to work out. You got to. You got to. You got to box a little. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If you're a bartender, what that's is going to be required for you to be a good bartender? There's definitely you, some you, bartenders that want to be bouncers. <laughs> that act as bouncers as soon as they get the chance. As soon as you get the chance. <laughs> I feel like once it gets to once it gets to management, like uh, by uh, my GM at Toto's Dom, I love it, dude, man. Hey, like some, something will be going down, I'm just like, oh, Dom, Dom, I'm like, I go, no, 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 and he'll be on the walkie. I'm just like, man, do that. And he was like, unfortunately, no. Like we we have a ton of security. That's what they're here for. Like they need to handle that situation. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah, you, you gotta get to that point to where it's like, okay, man, yeah, security's here for that. Like they're the guys that they're the big dudes. They're the ones that hit the gym every single day. These are the moments that they're here for. Like, mm -hmm. let them handle their business. For sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, yeah, you also got, I mean, you really think about it. You got to be, you also want to be in shape too. I mean, for your mental state, right? Yeah. You're in the entertainment industry. You have to be high energy. You know, you leave your problems out the door. Yeah. And, you know, that's it. It's, it's all about the customer, right? Yeah. Yeah, so. It's yeah, like, I noticed that, that the, the grind that we would go through at the gym and running, all that discipline that we make there, that, that helps me behind the bar. That helps me just rise up like that. All the yeah. all the stuff that I have going on in life, like this is what I'm here for. Mm -hmm. Like, well, what did I do that run for? I did that run so I can so I can look good behind the bar. Exactly. No point, no point in doing that run if I'm gonna be back here with a sad face. <laughs> and nobody wants to go. Yeah. Nobody, nobody wants to go to get served by somebody yeah. sad or hates their hates yeah. their life. So yeah, yeah. So what got you into uh, you know want to do uh, chiropractic work? Like you're a doctor now. 
So, so, so it actually started. It actually started when you know it was the the actually my whole life. The whole my my goal has been to be a chiropractor. Um, I I mean, growing up, I mean, I love to work out. I you know I love you know the human body was just interesting to me. So I wanted to. I knew I wanted to be some kind of doctor, right? Yeah. And so, uh, long story short, my dad he you know in high school he was pretty much my training partner. You know, we would train together, and he got hurt one time. And, uh, I mean, he could not even stand up to walk. Like, it was bad. And so he went to an ortho. And the ortho, I mean, I guess he was honest. He's like, dude, you have a 50, I'm going to cut you open, and then you have a 50-50 chance to get better, you know? So, um, but then there was this chiropractor at my gym in shape and everything. He was like, dude, give me two months, 90% chance that I'm going to get you better. And he did, you know, and it was cheaper than the surgery. So I was like, yo, yeah. yeah. And I was like, what the hell did he do to him? You know, because, yeah. And so, because I didn't know what a chiropractor was. And so I went and saw him. I was like, man, he gets to crack people's back for a living. That's fun. That signed me up. Uh, but then, you know, the more I got into the industry uh, or my, my profession, you know, you, we, got, we started getting tied in with like sports medicine you know, a little bit of physical therapy too. And man, it just, it's great. You know, um, I kind of like started falling in love with my profession when I was going through chiropractic school. Um, so it was great. Kind of yeah. 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 It was, yeah. It was great. It was great. And then, you know, uh, yeah, it's a, that's why, and it, it's kind of, it's very satisfying to me too. Um, you know, working with people like you, you know, you're in shape and everything you, you heal quickly. But the, the moments is like when somebody, let's like just say this, because uh, I'm a little, you know, corny or cheesy, but it's like uh, whenever, let's like just say that's one person that they can't hold their kid because they can't, they can't, they're just in so much pain yeah. or they can't, you know, do what they love, like go work out or, or something like that. Um, when you give them that moment back, man, it's just great. Yeah. It, there's always those stories where that patient wants to give up. Because there's so much pain, tried they tried everything, and so yeah, they're, they're taking all the pills, surgeries, and and so and when you give them a, that relief moment, you know, there's a, a professor of mine uh, in chiropractic school. They said some a patient of his, uh, they wanted to commit suicide, but because of them, because they took their pain away, they gave him their life back, and so I was like, yo, that's that's awesome. That's, that's powerful. Yeah, that's exactly. Right mm-hmm. And it's, like, and it's like, let's say somebody like you gets hurt, you can't work and you can't make money, right? Yeah. And so well, we when. We talk about it, man. We talk about it all the time. Yeah. And mm-hmm. so and for me, if, uh, yeah, you do a little bit of an investment, but uh, uh, coming to see me, um, but I mean, I'm yeah. giving you, you know, I'm helping you out in the long run. And it's just very satisfying, you know? Well, one, uh, my buddy Justin, he always talks about it, about how, like, you know, when you're getting cut open and you're doing these surgeries. Like it's not natural. Like it's, it's not natural. So like you want to be doing Mm-mm. everything you can as natural as possible yeah. to, to fix yourself and heal properly. Exactly. So that's what you guys are doing. Yeah. So I, I, I really, I, I can believe where it's like, yeah, there's a 50 chance because I'm not supposed to be doing this to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, uh, so unfortunately, sometimes it's like when, when the patient is, or at least with me is, uh, when they're just too far gone, yeah, yeah I, I have to refer, Yeah. you know, I don't want, even want to waste their time and they're, cause it's, it takes time and money to come here, yeah. and I don't want to be taking advantage of people. Yeah. You know, um, so yeah, unfortunately, I do have to refer. Yeah. But it's, you have to be a good chiropractor to at least understand, understand yeah. that and be honest yeah. as I well. Think that's what's cool about the industry too, is that we all, a lot of us, trust each other. Mm-hmm. And the fact that you know, which I remember this is called shockwave, by the way. This, 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 <laughs> so this is just compressed sound waves that break up scar tissue. Okay. So uh, we're gonna do two parts. We're gonna do on your back and a little bit on your hips. Okay. Yeah, so it's gonna sound like a little jackhammer. Okay. All right, ready? There you go. How's that feel? Yeah. Hurts? No. So the stronger you go, the better. Okay, because uh, but obviously you don't want to go too much. I mean. You know, I don't want to put you in too much pain, but typically, you know, in, in the lower back feels great. Mm-hmm. Right there. How's that feel? Good, good. 
This is great for shoulders too. Chiropractic is showing how yeah. naive I am. <laughs> uh, I thought a chiropractor was the was an axe puncher. Like I thought that was just like they, they poke needles. Oh, wow. I thought that's what it was. Uh, I know it was even like cracking and doing all that. To be honest, it's, it's, I would say, in my opinion, is I think we're still fairly new in this in this yeah. world. Like it's, it started a while back, but I guess I, I guess now we're getting a better reputation. You know, just if you think about it, um, a lot of sports teams have the team Cairo now. Yeah, you know, um, a, a bunch of like you know, um, I used to work in my uh, in an internship that I did. Uh, some companies have like a deal with a chiropractor too. Again, you're sitting all day, you know, sitting on a chair is also really bad yeah. for you. Um, so, yeah, so they have their employees, you know, hey, go to, go to this guy, you know. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's all about maintenance. But yeah. I think a lot, of, a lot of these industries now with social media and content creation is yeah. like, a new way to market yourself. Yeah. Like, like you said, we wouldn't even know what was happening unless you showed these videos on the web. Okay, that's what's going to be. Yeah. Not going to lie, it's kind of fun uh, recording the reactions, though. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, and it's honestly what they said, what they told me in chiropractic, and this is true, too. Uh, it's addicting for the doctor. Yeah. Uh, hearing those cracks, I mean, I'm addicted to it. So, uh, you ever see some of those pimple popping doctors? Yes. You said they love that. Yeah. They love it. Yeah. It's, it, it, it's the same thing, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I just love, you know, cracking. That sense uh, of relief. Yeah. I noticed, like, going to the gym and was, like, an investment that, you know, a lot of us take on. Or we'll have, like, multiple gym memberships. I was like, okay, at this point, like, I need to take back one of these gym memberships so I can start investing in the... In your health, in your body. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, mm -hmm. it just doesn't make sense. Like, if I'm doing all this work, then I need to make sure I'm taking care of myself, too. Mm-hmm. So this is gonna be a little bit different. Uh, you might feel like it's shooting down your leg because the sciatic nerve is nearby. So, but not nothing crazy. Yeah. This was a great investment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I mean, some chiros just work with just all muscle work, and you know. It's like and the muscle work and you know adjust or some tires that only adjust. Yeah. I don't want to be that guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to bring you know technology into my treatments. So you you get. I want the best results. Yeah. So a pole scan is more like massage. Mm -hmm. These are like shock waves or sound waves. It's actually going. Yeah. It's traveling inside your body and it's breaking uh, up sure, stuff. Sure. You know. It's breaking up scar tissue, and it's telling your body, "Hey, uh, make new uh, new tendon, or new new ligament." You know, what's the hardest thing about your your job? I would say would be. We're gonna do some cupping, by the way. Have you ever done cupping? I haven't done cupping. Oh, I I like it. I'm a fan, but I know some people aren't. But if it's your first time, you gotta try it. <laughs> I say the the hardest thing about being in the industry. It's the demand it takes on your body, and then you also have to, to be in the best positive state going through. So, like, whether that be I'm on my feet all day for 10 hours, but I need to be happy. Whether that, or I need to be, you know, engaged with, with someone, I, I can't be in a bad mood. Um, really? If that means that, you know, I am, uh, you know, I'm dealing with a lot of stress from a manager, you know, that, that's one, something from us, we can't show that. So, we, I, can't, mm. I can't show my emotions. Yep. And in the moment, yeah. it's during the time when, I'm also in the heat of battle because I'm um, you know, going through a lot of physical stress of uh, bartending and moving around, mm -hmm. stuff, all that. Yeah, I feel you on that. Yeah, yeah, because I, I, I think so it's like almost hiding some of the emotions. same thing for me. You, I mean, yeah. I have to hide my emotions. Yeah. I have to put like, you know, you know, entertainment hat, yeah. I guess. Yeah, people want yeah. to um, even come to the bar. Like it was, I can't remember who told me. Uh, I think it might have been like a YouTube video I watched. But when people said like, hey, how are you doing? I say amazing. I, I say it every single day to every single person that asks me, how are you doing? I'm doing amazing. And it's almost got me to the point where when I say it, I don't, not that I feel amazing, but it's like subconsciously, I know I don't feel bad. Yeah. And it, it almost reminds me, I'm like, oh, I feel amazing. And then, yeah. then, it, then they bring up like, you feel amazing? I'm like, I'm going to say it's that. A, it's affection. And then, yeah. And then it, it starts a conversation where now I'm smiling. Like, I'm not yeah. going to say, oh, I'm doing amazing. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got to smile. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm mm -hmm. my life. And then I feel like that that helps me, but yeah, it's definitely the, the hardest part about the job is having to, to hide those emotions. And I feel like that's why when we get off work, 
I'll go tell her, oh, I, got, I want to have a drink or I want to decompress. Mm -hmm. It's not really like you want to just, you know, like you had a shitty day. It's just, I just want to be able to. <laughs> like, I would have thought it, I would have thought you, you would have said something along the lines dealing with really just drunk people, you know, like yeah, they, they just. Uh, I, I don't even think it like really. Drunk people, it's not the, it's not the, it's or like they just rude when they when they start being rude, you know. And I think after after being in the industry a while, you just start to ignore those things. So uh -huh. You can be rude to me, but then <clears throat> especially in like a bar or a club industry, like I can I can ignore you. And, and not in a way where I'm just never going to take care of you, but you're like, yo, yo, like I've heard yo, yo's snaps, all that kind of stuff all the time. Like, and you probably don't know my name. I didn't, not that I'm telling you my name, yeah, yeah. Out club, mm -hmm. so that you can order for me again. So it's like, I ignore it and I, I'll casually go over it, like when I get the chance. Um, now, obviously there's yeah. some people where it's like the waving in your face, uh, you know, like getting too close in the personal space. Yeah, that'll be, that's, that's a quick way to get onto yeah. somebody's yeah. like, all right, bro. Like, like yeah. how many, how many, yeah. then I feel like I've given into that. And then uh -huh. also it's, it's, it's affectious where it's like, if somebody's getting an attitude with us yeah. and then we get an attitude back. Now I have to realize that I've actually shown everybody in this area that's, that's looking at me that now I have an attitude. Yeah. But it's like that, that's the problem right there. Yeah. So if they're the problem, like, Hey man, I'm gonna need you to chill out. Like I'll get you when I can. And then I'm taking other care of people. And then I completely am smiling, having a good time. That's what we're here to do. Yeah. So I yeah. think the hardest part is, 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 is the internal battle. Cause that, cause you huh. want to, Initially, you want to react, but yeah. you just have to learn how not to. That's why I always say that person, like bartender, is like a personal development journey. For sure. You want to like an 18 or 19 year old, you got a, a quick temper, you know, you should have an authority figure, <laughs> yeah. and you need to have all this put together. Or you yeah. Your rent. Yeah. yeah. And you, you had that authority figure in the house, yeah. and you're like, as soon as I get out the house, like, I'm, this isn't going to happen. Yeah. Then you go right into it, you're like, all right. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm going to be my own authority figure, so I tell myself that yeah. I'm not going to react this way. Yeah, you didn't bruise that much, man. Should have put him. I should have put him. Uh, it's tighter on you. Why is it? Is it yeah, because yeah, you don't have the uh, the hickeys by, uh, on your back. <laughs> Chocolate, man. There you go. <laughs> Sunburn resistant. There you go. Is there any uh, pet peeves? For me, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, for me is. Um, First of all, when I, when I get questioned, I mean, I, I it's, 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 uh, I mean, I get it, yeah. I get it, but you know, I mean, I feel like I've done my fair share of like re studies <laughs> and research and then I'm when they, and then, they, and they, and they question me, what do you do? But then again, I get it, you know, yeah. I guess like looking back, but I don't know when they, when I have to explain myself every single time, you know, I feel worse before it gets better, you know? Mm -hmm. And so, cause I tell people, just think about it. I'm like, Technically, I'm hurting you, like doing all the muscle work, you know, because we're trying to, I'm trying to break things up to, in order to, for your body to heal itself correctly, you know. I'm put, I tell people I'm putting you in the best position for your body to help itself, right, to heal itself. And then, you know, I, get, I have gotten calls from like, yo, you hurt me. And I had this one lady that I did this shockwave on her knee, and she's got had like history of like knee pain for a long time like years and she's tried everything cortisone shots everything you know and she doesn't want to do surgery i was like this is the best treatment for it so i did and i told her you gonna feel sore tomorrow yeah, yeah, yeah. and then she calls me you didn't tell me i was gonna be this sore I, it was my day off today i had so many things planned now i can't even get up and you're, uh, you're like oh my gosh and then i even offered all right come come back i'll do some stuff to help you you know yeah. recover a little faster i won't charge you you know yeah I just wanted to help. She said, well, no, no, I, I don't have time right now. I was like, okay. And I, I, I remember back then I told my friend this. I was like, watch, she's going to call in two days saying that she feels better and she wants to come back. And so she did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she did. And so, you know, or sometimes when people don't follow the treatment plan, you know, you tell them, okay, with you, it's, with you guys, you guys are in pretty good shape and, you know, you guys take care of it. So it's easy. Um, so I typically with you guys, I say, oh, it's going to take one or two times, right? Or maybe I try to keep it less than five, but sometimes when it's a bad, uh, injury, more like a, a herniated disc or something like that, it does take time to heal from that. Yeah. You know, I tell people it took years to develop that condition. You think it's going to take, take me five sessions to fix it. No, it's going to take some time. And then when they don't follow the treatment plan and then at the end, towards the end, they complain, oh, this didn't really help. You're like, I mean, did you really follow my advice? No. Yeah. 
or did you follow what I told you? Hey, did you stretch? Did you go work out after? Because I only have an hour, like you say, yeah. here. The rest is up to you. I was like, yeah, you, yeah. yeah, it's up to you. And you got to change some stuff. And they, they don't do that stuff. And they think I'm a, I'm a quack or anything. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't happen often, but it, yeah, it happens. You know, you see in industries, people's pet peeves or like you know, people in the industry, their, their pet peeves are usually based off of just people not even knowing, like, like having to know. Where, where some people like to come up and they order one drink at a time from a bartender. And the bartender's like, oh my God, like, I hate that. But they would never know mm -hmm. that, that that would bother you. Yeah. And yeah. Like, that's, a, that's one of the things, too. Where that's I, true. I think it's cool is like, you know, letting people know, like, hey, like, this, is, this is the pet peeve we have. It's like, you yeah. know, it's this. It's like, well, that's something that you know, that person might not even know. Yeah, it's like, well, yeah. the only reason why it bothers us is because we deal with it every single yeah. day. Mm -hmm. So I think even bringing life to pet peeves is a good thing where it's like, mm -hmm. I don't think, like, you don't think you're a bad person. You don't think I'm a bad person. I'm like, you're probably trying to be nice. Like, All right, well, you can get up and let's get you uh, adjusted. Uh, All right. Have you ever been adjusted? No. I mean, I'm on my own day. Oh, no. This is going to be great. So what this is going to do is just going to release uh, some of the inflammation that you have on your joints and increase your range of motion. Okay. That popping sound, that one, uh, just like gas, gas leaving the joints. Okay. Just think of it as a bone fart. Right. <laughs> so give yourself a big hug. We're going to go for your mid back first. I'm going to roll you over towards me. Take a deep breath in, all the way out. Oh, you all right? I'm good. One more time, deep breath in, all the way out. Oh. He wasn't fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, all right, yeah. guys, you good? Like, no, we're going to go game because he's going to fight. <laughs> On your side facing me? Like this. Yes, sir. Are you going to bend this leg? Keep this one straight. All right, I'm just going to. There you go. Bend it just like so. I'm going to roll you over towards me. You're not going to fall. I got you, all right? And roll towards you? Yeah, you just, just relax right there. I'm going to roll you over. Mm -hmm. Just a little push. Just relax. I got some little pocket for that. What, what do you got? Oh, your, your phone? Yeah. There you go. All right. So it's the same thing. Ooh. There you go. Other side. I <laughs> 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 All right, relax right there. There you go. There you go. You're fighting me a little bit. Face up. <laughs> Face up for me. I feel like you're fighting me. John's always in a fight response. Relax right there. Good. There you go. Perfect. All right, nice and easy. Go ahead and get up and tell me how you feel. Yeah. Man. Little relief, huh? Yeah. Like, I, I want to work out tomorrow. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. That's the whole point. That's how you maintain all the work that we do here. You want to get cracked, too? Yeah. Okay. Come on. But I do want to talk about what are some preventative things that bartenders can do? Yeah, I mean, rotator cuff um, and stuff, you know. Yeah, so like external rotations, you know, get a, get a band. Yeah. You know, just go like that here. You can do the sword stuff. Um, obviously, you have to, like, it's kind of like what I tell everybody, work out your core and your glutes. Because, yeah. again, and because it, it's going to, because if this is strong and this is strong, you're going to have less pressure on your back. Yeah. You're, you're going to demand less of your back. Obviously, you know, work out, you know, work out, obviously, your back, your mid-back, yeah. uh, you know, because you, you want to prevent from your shoulders rounding. So if this is strong, you're going to be nice and straight like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like reverse flies, rows, you know, um, what else? Yeah, that's pretty much. And then, you know, you're doing your cardio, you know, yeah. your cardio, it helps uh, with, the, with the brain for the oxygen. So <laughs> that, that, that way. Yeah. But yeah, that's, yeah, definitely rotator cuff stuff. Because again, the shoulder stuff is pretty common to see. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I would think. And I just recommend doing this kind of stuff once a month. Yeah. All right. Deep breath in. All the way out. Oh, that was beautiful. All the way out. Nice. On your side facing me. There you go. Good. Other side. You know what? You know what's funny? At parties, sometimes, but like when people are just a little intoxicated, they're nice and loose. 
And so they, they will fight back like, you did? <laughs> so. It's yeah. Nice. Oh, oh, my God. My God. <laughs> what is this stuff worth, though? I told you. Yeah, dude. Oh, I'm glad he got in here, though.